Hi guys! So, game week 14. <laughs> 81 points, what a brilliant game week. Of course, I can't skip by the fact that if I'd Captain Sanchez, who got three goals and one assist, I'd be a whole 23 points better off. And I'd be quite a lot closer to that elusive 100 points. However, I'm just really glad I had Sanchez in my team. I know a few opponents I was up against this week didn't have him in and that really hurt their game week. So on that note, let's just take a look at my game week 14 points. Who else to mention? Well, Gibson picked me up a clean sheet and two bonus points. Hazard nabbed me a goal and two bonus points against City. My captain Costa got a goal and assist in 84 minutes with three bonus points. However, at the moment he's yellow and I'm not really sure how long he'll be out for. Hopefully he'll be back this game week. I think there'll be a lot of fancy football managers plus Chelsea that will want to see him back. And so I come to Aguero. Why, oh why, Aguero? What happened? What happened? I don't know what happened. Until Aguero got the red, he was sat on two points. That's not brilliant, but it's not hugely damaging either. I know the minus one points will have hurt a lot of FPL managers, and I had him as my captain in my personal team. That hurt. He is now banned until game week 18 but will be available to play against Liverpool on the 31st of December. That's caused a lot of headaches for us FPL managers, and I've already shipped him out of my team, along with over 500,000 FPL managers. So here is what I've done for game week 15. Not even minutes after his red, I swapped Aguero out for Kane, anticipating his price drop. Most of you, I guess, if you haven't already have him, will have got Costa in, unless his injury is worrying you. As I already have him, I decided to get Kane. Kane has scored five in his last four games. And after his tough fixture at Man United, he has Hull and Burnley coming up. I won't lie to you guys, I wrestled with whether to get Kane or Ibrahimovic in. Ibra has got four in his last four games. That's because he didn't play against Arsenal with his accumulation of yellow cards. And his run of fixtures are very tasty. But I had to make a really quick decision. And with Jose rotating the team like he does, I got a little bit nervous and opted for Kane instead. But I really still feel like I might get Ibra in in the next few game weeks. So watch this space. My team then as it stands. I say that because I am deciding on taking a points hit. But if I don't, this is what I'll do. I will put Heaton in instead of Foster. I'm taking Foster out on the account that he's against Chelsea. This is taking a large injury chance. I don't know when Heaton is expected back. But I'd prefer to risk him against Bournemouth than Foster against Chelsea. I shall also be taking a chance on Daniels. Daniels is next up against Burnley if he's fit and ready to play. And I've put him in over Fouche. The reason being is that Fouche has only got me one point in the last four game weeks. I'm not sure if City will be as deadly without Aguero, but considering Leicester's defence, I'll take my chance with Daniels being back from injury. Gibson has earned his recall, and I have a really tough decision between Macaulay and Holobas. I prefer who Holobus is up against, but with minus one point in the last four games, I'm tempted to put Macaulay in against Chelsea in case he nabs a goal. Let me know what you guys think. And let's not brush anything under the carpet. My defence is shocking at the moment, people. I am really not happy with it. I am currently hemorrhaging points at the back of my field. And so I seriously need some advice from you guys. I've already used my wildcard for this period. Would you guys suffer on for the next few game weeks, saving up your changes and making them where needed? Or, as I'm not really challenging in the overall leagues due to me only starting six weeks in, and therefore I'm only in head-to-head -head leagues really, would you take as many hits as possible to sort out your defence? Pop me a comment below or a private message. I'd be really grateful to hear your thoughts. And apart from that, everyone else is going to stay exactly as is. 
I don't know what happened to Matic. Does anyone know what happened to Matic? Let me know if you know what happened to Matic. Annoyingly, I quite fancied him up against West Brom. Seen as I seem to be taking a risk with so many other yellows this game week, I could shove him in for Allen and see what happens. Now, I just come on to who I'm going to captain. I really want to captain Sanchez. The little man is in form. But I know if I captain him, he won't do very well. That's just my luck. So the others to really look at would be Hazard and Costa against West Brom. Or even Chan, who I have as my captain now against West Ham United. I suspect I'll leave that until last minute. I think the way the Premier League is this season, I might start coming up with some creative ways to decide my captain. So pop me a message if you have any really cool ideas on how I should go about choosing my captain because I think it's a bit of a free-for-all this season. The people you think will do well against certain teams haven't really been pulling their weight and vice versa. So it's been really interesting and I think it might be really cool to try some creative ways to choose a captain. I'm almost always between three or four players each game week. Let me know what you think. And so that is my game week 14-15 video. I hope you guys all really enjoyed it. Don't forget to pop a like, subscribe and do all those fabulous things. Until next time, Nymphia out.